It's time for KRGB Channel 5's Masterminds, a program geared towards Valley High School academics. With your host, Tim Smith. Today in round two competition, the Science Academy and Hannah High School match wits in their quest to become this year's Masterminds champions. Hey everybody, welcome to Masterminds of the Science Academy in Brownsville, Hannah. Today, let's get right to it with our quick start questions, and we're going to start with a math question, okay? What is 66 and two-thirds percent of 90? That's Science Academy Miles. 60. That's correct. Spell bounteous. That's Hannah Eric. B-O-U-N-T-I-O-U-S. No. Science Academy, anyone? Ring in if you know. All right, Tony. B-O-U-N-T-E-O-U-S. That is correct. Solve for X. 9 plus 4X equal negative 27. Science Academy Miles. Negative 9. That's correct. Calculate the area of an equilateral triangle with the side of 4. Science Academy Miles. 4 squared of 3. That's correct. On what continent was the first Australopithecus skull discovered? That's Science Academy Tona. Africa. That's right. Of 2, 20, 200, and 2,000, how many amino acids can be found in life on Earth? That's Science Academy Tona. 20. That's right. In Exodus, what follows? Thou shalt give life for life, eye for eye. Science Academy Tona. Tooth for tooth. That's right. What was George Washington's peacetime occupation in the 1750s? Science Academy Julian. Um, Fort Necessity? No. And anyone? Uh, Jonathan. Land surveyor? Yes, that's correct. Name the, pre the former president who was congressman and senator from California and vice president. That's Science Academy Julio. Ronald Reagan? No. Hannah, anybody? Name the former president who was congressman and senator from California and vice president. And time was up, that was Richard Nixon. In 1950, a man named Arthur Blank established the television rating system. Give me the last name. The Science Academy Julian. Nielsen. That's exactly right, and that wraps up our quick start for today. All right, so after a quick start, Science Academy off to a quick lead, 80 to 10 over Brownsville, Hannah. Let's take a moment, meet our judge who is here once again today from the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Nordine Rivetta, Assistant Professor in the Department of Literatures and Cultural Studies. Our judge, give her a round of applause. <laughs> Before we get to hot topics, let's meet the team from Brownsville, Hannah. We'll start on this end with Jonathan. Um, I'm Jonathan Vettos from Hannah High School. I'm Eric Ima from Hannah High School. I'm Mariana Gonzalez from Hannah High School. Brevity, I like it. Welcome to the team from Hannah High School <laughs> participating today. Glad to have you here. All right, time for your hot topics, Hannah. Can I ask you three questions about current events, okay? Don't need your buzzers on this. Take the first answer that we hear from the team, okay? Here we go. Why did West Virginia teachers go on strike? The lack of benefits. That's one of them, higher pay and better better. They'll, they'll accept that. Actor David Ogden Steers died recently at the age of 75. Steers was best known for his role in what TV classic? Happy Days. Happy Days, that was MASH. Name the actress whose Oscar for Best Actress was stolen while at the annual Governor's Ball. Frances McCormand. That's exactly right. Well done. Puts you up to 30 points. Good job. Now let's meet the team from Science Academy. We'll start here on this end with Miles. My name is Miles Claw. Hello, I'm Tony Gonzalez. <laughs> Hello, I'm Julian Banuelos. They want to get through a lot of questions today. Is what it is, so maybe they go. have the high score. Well done. Welcome to the team from Science Academy. Glad to have you here. All right, time for your hot topics, okay? Need uh, no buzzers on this. We'll take the first answer we hear. A student at what Midwest university used his father's gun to kill his parents? Right state, wrong answer. Central Michigan University. What movie directed by a Mexican filmmaker received the, the Academy? Of water. Yes. Why was a $17 million study about climate change in the Canadian Arctic canceled? The Arctic shelf fell off? <laughs> the Arctic shelf fell off. Well, that's almost there, but not quite. It was canceled because of climate change. It caused some things, <laughs> they made it so they couldn't do it. So okay. right <laughs> that's not it. All right, so our score after the first round. The Science Academy 90, Brownsville had a 30. We're going to take a break. We come back, we'll meet the teacher coordinators, do quick picks, the grab bag, all of that right after the break. <laughs>
Welcome back to Masterminds. It is round two competition today. Science Academy and Brownsville Hannah. Science Academy in the lead 90 to 30. Let's meet the teacher coordinators from the two schools. We'll start with Brownsville Hannah. Eric. This is Mr. Kessler. He's our AP government teacher. He's been uh, taking a lot of time to help us prepare for Masterminds in this competition today. Appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. And Science Academy, Tona. Uh, this is Mr. Wiley. He is a physics teacher at our school and he's been teaching for 26 years and we really appreciate his help this year. As do we. Thank you for being here. We appreciate you being here once again. All right. So it's time now for quick pick students. I'm going to show you pictures on your TV screens. I'll ask you questions about each of the pictures we show you. You do need your buzzers. We're all planning this. Here we go. Officially, this ship was called the CSS Virginia in the Civil War, but its iron hull was built over what existing ship? And time is up, the USS Merrimack. This is an example of St. Joseph's Wart. By what more familiar name is this culinary herb known? Science Academy, Julian. Sage? No. And anybody? Okay, Eric. Basil? That's correct. This man is credited with one of our most important communications inventions. Who is he? That's Science Academy, Julian. Alexander Graham Bell? That's exactly right, invented the telephone. This is Death Valley, the hottest, driest area of the United States. Death Valley? Is in what state? That's Science Academy Tona. California. Right. Though its truth is now doubtful, Admiral Richard Byrd claimed to have been the first to reach what two points on Science Academy Julia? Antarctica and the Arctic. Accept that? Okay, it's the North Pole and South Pole, so accept that. Harrison Ford was a relatively unknown character actor until he was propelled to fame in what Science Academy Julia? Star Wars. That's right. The Hall of Mirrors is the central gallery of what European royal structure? That's Science Academy Helia. The Palace of Versailles. Correct. This is an example of the element with the atomic number 16. That's Science Academy Helia. Sulfur. Yes. William McKinley was assassinated in 1901. Who succeeded McKinley as President of the United States? Science Academy Helia. Teddy Roosevelt. Right. This penny bears the mint date of 2002 S. Where was this penny minted? Hannah, Jonathan. Virginia. No? Science Academy, who are you on? San Francisco. That is correct, and that wraps up our quick picks for today. Quick pick, Science Academy moves into lead 170 to 40 over Brownsville. Hannah, that means Hannah, you get to go first in the grab bag round. Dr. Rivetta has three envelopes in which to choose, numbers one, two, and three, and you can choose any one you'd like for the grab bag. Two. two. Number two it is. All right. You've got 60 seconds to answer the 10 questions in the envelope. Remember, if you don't know one, say pass, okay? If there's time within the 60 seconds, we'll come back to it. Your category is hardware. All right? Hardware. 60 seconds. Pass if you don't know one. No buzzers. Here we go. A Phillips head is found on what common tool? Screwdriver. Yes. If you were to select the best saw to cut a metal pipe, would you use a hacksaw, a chainsaw, or a jigsaw? Hacksaw. hacksaw. Yes. What part of a house would end irons, tongs, and bellows be found near? Furnace? No. What two parts of a house is weather stripping often found around? Pass. What is the common name for a U-shaped loop of wire with points at both ends used as a fastener? Pass. If you were using a disc, a four-row, or a deep tillage, what business would you be in? Plumbing? No. What makes roller skates roll easily? Ball bearings? Yes. What is the term for removing insulation from a wire? Stripping? Yes. In what specialty store would you buy lug nuts and a feeler gauges? Pass. Wire size is generally expressed in mills. What is a mill? Millimeter. No. We'll go back. What two parts of a house is weather stripping often found around? Time is up. All right. What do we do? Four correct. Let's go over the ones we didn't get. Uh, the part of the house where andirons, tongs, and bellows would be a fireplace. The part of the house where weather stripping is found is doors and windows. Common name for a U-shaped loop of wire with points at both ends, that's a staple. If you're using a disc, a four-rower deep tillage, you'd be a farmer. A specialty store where you buy lug nuts and feeler gauges is an auto parts store. And uh, wire size generally expressed in mills. A mill is one one-thousandth of an inch. All right, puts you up to 60 points. Now, Science Academy, there are two envelopes remaining, one and three. You can choose whichever you'd like. Three. Number three it is. Oof. 60 seconds, 10 questions. Pass if you don't know one. Uh-oh, it's a two-pager. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. <laughs> Antonyms. Oh. This is a multiple-choice vocabulary quiz. <laughs> All right? That's great. 60 <laughs> seconds. Here we go. Does integrate mean the opposite of segment, complement, supplement, or finalize? Supplement. No. 
Does proximity mean the opposite of closeness, vicinity, remoteness, or likeness? Remoteness. Yes. Does weaken mean the opposite of untangle, impute, fasten, or fortify? Fasten, fortify. No. Does strengthen mean the opposite of debilitate, retort, intensify, or jettison? Debilitate. Yes. Does vindictive mean the opposite of extenuating, forgiving, cautious, or regulating? Forgiving. 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 Yes. Does penury mean the opposite of insincerity, piquancy, opulence, or happiness? Pass. Does instigate mean the opposite of purge, institute, stifle, or provoke? Stifle. stifle. Yes. Does quiescence mean the opposite of torpid, dormant, active, or latent? Pass. Does arid mean the opposite of windy, silly, weak, or moist? Moist. Yes. Does fatuous mean the opposite of clumsy, shrewd, irksome, or internal? Shrewd. Yes, we'll go back. Does per penury mean the opposite of insincerity, piquancy, opulence, or happiness? Insincerity. Time is up. It was going to be opulence. Okay. Ah. All right, so you're up to 200 points. How many did we get correct? Six out of the ten. Again, penury is the opposite of ep uh, opulence. Quiescence is the opposite of active. Uh, integrate is the opposite of, s opposite of segment. And weaken was the opposite of fortify, which was the second answer I heard. Had to go with the first answer that we heard. All right, one envelope remains. Nobody chose envelope number one, so we all play on this if I don't drop it. This is on. Identify these words and phrases that begin with the word on. Okay? Here we go. Everybody's playing, need your buzzers. A translucent chalcet chalcedony quartz in layers of colors. Translucent chalcedony quartz in layers of colors. Hannah, Mariana. Onyx? Yes. Recorded walking on thin ice for John the night her husband was murdered. Time is up, Yoko Ono. A burden, blame, or stigma. Time is up. Onus. 600,072 to the zeroth power. Hannah Eric. One. Yes. The study of tumors. Hannah Eric. Oncology. Yes. A passive bystander. Anna Mariana. Onlooker? Yes. A kick off the travels just far enough for the kicking team to recover the ball. Science Academy. On sidekick. Yes. Song that opens All That Jazz, made famous by the Drifters, performed in the film by George Benson. Time is up on Broadway. Words that sound like their meaning. Anna Mariana. I'm sorry? Onomatopoeia. That's correct. And that wraps up the time on our score at the end of the grab bag at Science Academy 210, Brownsville Hannah 110. We're going to take a break. When we come back, it'll be time for art and music. Each question worth 20 points. Don't go away. Welcome back to Masterminds Inner Science Academy in Brownsville. Hannah, today, Science Academy's in the lead 210 to 110. It's time for art and music. We'll start with top art. Head to the Art Museum. Take a look at a piece of art. Ask you to identify the artist or the work. This is for 20 points. The artist or the work. Science Academy, Tona. Hopper. No. Hannah, anyone? All right, Mariana. Moret. No, this is Gustave Caillabault. It's Paris Street, rainy weather. Here's another. Didn't even get time to talk about it. Science Academy talk. Diego Rivera. That's exactly right. That's Peasants by Diego Rivera. One for two. Now let's take a listen to a couple of pieces of music and see if we can identify the composer or the work. Listen very carefully. This also for 20 points. The composer or the work. All right, Science Academy Miles. Mozart. That is Mozart. Concert for flute, harp, and orchestra. We have one more for 20 points. Listen carefully. Hannah, Eric. Vivaldi. Vivaldi? No, it's not Vivaldi. Uh, Science Academy, Julian. Is it Beethoven? No, this is Handel. This is Handel. Solomon is the name of that. So our score after Art and Music is Science Academy 250, Hannah 110. Let's take a break. We come back. we time for the final stretch. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be fast. It's going to be good. Don't go away. Welcome back to Masterminds Round 2 Competition. Science Academy leads Brownsville Hannah 250 to 110. Time for the final stretch. We'll ask questions until that bell rings. When that happens... Whoever's leading moves on to the next round. Hands on your buzzers. Here we go. How do you spell dissipate? Hannah Eric. D-I-S-S-I-P-A-T-E. That is correct. What figure of speech is used in this line by Aaron Copeland? 
Listening to the Fifth Symphony of Ralph Vaughan Williams is like staring at a cow for 45 minutes. Science Academy Julian. Simile. That's right. What phrase-making word was often used in the 1950s and 60s to express insufficiency paired with the words missile, generation, and credibility? And time's up. Gap. Sometimes used to designate negative net income for an accounting period, it also refers to a debit balance in the retained earnings account of a firm's financial statement. What is this three-syllable term? Time's up. Deficit. The ancient country of Armenia is divided today among the former Soviet Union and two other countries. Name either one of them. That's Science Academy. Is that Turkey? Yes, the other's Iran. Solve for X. X to the fifth power times 3 to the 5th power equal 3 to the 10th power. That's Science Academy Tonga. 3. That's right. Uncas was the last of the Mohicans in the novel by James Fenimore Cooper. F. Scott Fitzgerald's Monroe Star was the last what? That's Science Academy Julian. Tycoon. Right. Using this power, many governors can cancel parts of a bill while signing the rest. Hannah Eric. Line item veto. Correct. Which of these capitals is found farthest east? Bern, Berlin, Brussels, Budapest or Bucharest? That's Hannah Mariana. Burn? No? Science Academy Tony. Bucharest. That's correct. Before gummed flaps were invented, which substance was used to seal letters? That's Hannah Mariana. Wax? Yes. What is element number 88? All right, Science Academy Julian. Plutonium? No. Hannah, anybody want to try? All right, Eric. Laurentium? No, it's radium. What does the log to the base of 5 of 1 25ths equal? That's Science Academy Miles. 3. No. And anyone? And time is up negative 2. What is the longest war the United States has ever fought? It lasted, okay, Science Academy, who are The Civil War. No, it lasted 27 years, 1861 to 1888, and the foe was an Indian tribe. And time is up the war with the Apaches. Binoculars typically are marked with numbers like 6 by 30 or 8 by 50. The first number refers to magnification. What does the second number refer to? That's Hannah Eric. Lens width. Lens width. Yes, that would be correct. Three questions about James Monroe. In what war was Monroe a soldier? That's Science Academy Julian. Would that be the Revolutionary War? Yes. What president appointed Monroe as his Secretary of State? That's Science Academy Julian. James Madison? Yes. What political party ceased to exist while Monroe was president? Science Academy. The Democratic Republicans. No. Oh. And anybody. All right, Mariana. The Whigs. No, the Federalist. Who was the first person to see Jesus after his resurrection from the dead? That's Science Academy. Who Mary is? Magdalene. That's right. When he named Roman Emperor, when he was when named Roman Emperor, he was hiding. Caligula had just been killed, and he was thought to be the next to die. Can you name him? Science Academy. Who is? Was it Nero? No, it was Nero. Can anybody? All right, Mariana. Tiberius? That was Claudius. What is the four-letter name for a relatively low-melting mixture of impurities that forms in blast furnaces during the smelting and refining of metals? Science Academy, I'm sorry, Hannah Jonathan. Slag? Yes. Which mathematical term names the transformation that preserves distance? Time is up by Sometry. What three Americans composed the great triumvirate of 19th century politics? And time's up, Clay, Webster, and Calhoun. The volume of a sphere, a sphere, is 288 pi cubic feet. What's the diameter of the sphere? And time is up, 12 feet. What kind of lights used in theatrical presentations provides directional lighting over a restricted area? That's Hannah Eric. Spotlight? Yes. One of the least populated countries in the world, with only three people per square mile, lies next to the country with the largest population. Hannah Mariana. Mongolia? Correct. Which British composers considered the most successful opera composer of the middle 20th century? His Science Academy Tone. Andrew Lloyd Webber? No. His works include Death in Venice, Billy Budd, and Peter Grimes. And time is up. Benjamin Britten. What, prop, what property of an object can be found in physics when force is divided by acceleration? That's Science Academy Miles. Mass. That's right. What is the name for the brain mass stimulated, I'm sorry, situated in the back of the head underneath the posterior cerebral cortex, Hannah Eric? No. And above the pons and medulla in the hindbrain. 
Okay, Julian. Yes. In symbolic logic, what name describes a compound statement formed by joining two simple statements by the word or? Science Academy Miles. Intersection? No. Anybody? And time's up. Disjunction. Some questions about the solar system, four of them. A sunspot now near the center of the disk will disappear at the edge in about a week. Two weeks later, the spot will reappear at the opposite edge. These observations provide evidence of what? Anna, Eric. The Earth's revolution. The Earth's revolution? No. Science Academy, anybody? And time about the sun's rotation. In 1983, NASA determined that a meteorite found under the ice in Antarctica came from what heavenly body? Anna, Mariana. The moon? Yes. What planet revolves around the sun with a period of approximately 11 Earth years? It spends uh, Science Academy total. Uh, Venus. No. It spends, okay, Hannah, Eric. Mars. No, it's Jupiter. Of the six moons of Neptune, which name refers to Poseidon's sun, who could change his appearance easily? That's Science Academy. Was it Triton? No. Hannah, anybody? Time is up, Proteus. What's the last word in this proverb? If you wish to be happy for a year, plant a garden. If you wish to be happy for a lifetime, plant a... Anna, Johnny. Orchard? No. Science Academy, who are Home? No, just a tree. The name of which alloy is used colloquially to mean impudence? Time is up, brass. What geological period came after the Triassic period and before the Cretaceous period? That's Hannah Eric. Jurassic? That's right. What part of a saddle got its name from the Latin word for apple? Science Academy Tony. Mantle. No? All right, Hannah. Eric. Stirrup. I'm sorry? Stirrup. No, it's the pommel. A stick figure is constructed in the form of a tetrahedron. If the six sticks that represent the edges are to be painted such that no two intersecting sticks have the same color, what's the minimum number of colors needed? All right, Hannah, Eric. Four. No? Science Academy, one more shot. Okay, Tony. Three. Yes. Which country currently has possession of the Auckland Islands? Science Academy, who New Zealand? Yes. In the megabolastic form, red blood cells are too large. In the hemolytic form, they're too short-lived. Name this condition, whose other forms include iron deficiency and sickle cell. Hannah, Mariana. Anemia? Yes. The land of Nod sounds as though it might come from a fairy tale or a children's story. But in the Bible, Genesis 4.16, who took refuge there? That's Science Academy, Julian. Abraham. No. Hannah, anyone? All right, uh, Eric. Noah. That was Cain. On an alphabetical listing of the UN, which country appears first? All right, Science Academy, who are you? Andorra? No. Everybody, Hannah? Time is up, Afghanistan. Which civilization produced the first known calendar with a 365-day year? Science Academy, who are you? Rome. No? That's uh, Eric. Mayan. No, the Egyptian. What was the last of the four major blood groups to be discovered? Science Academy, who are you? AB? Yes. What capital's name comes from the German word for bears? That's Science Academy, who are you? Um, Berlin? No. Anna Mariana. Oslo? No, Bern. What does the name of the capital of Holland mean? Time is up. Dam on the Amstel. What award has been given to such works of literature as Sylvester and the Magic Pebble, Frog Win a Courtin', and Where the Wild Things Are? At Science Academy, Julian. No. Can anybody? Time was up the Caldecott Medal. Where we're going with that, Eric? Sorry. What is the fitted part of a dress from shoulder to waist called? At Science Academy, Julia. Corset. No. Anybody? What is the fitted part of a dress from shoulder to waist called? And time's up. That's the bodice. What kind of animal was James Thompson, James Thompson writing about in these lines? Behold, in plated mail, behemoth roars, rears his head. Doesn't matter, that was going to be a rhinoceros, but the bell rang. It means our game is over. Our final score, Science Academy 380, Brownsville Hannah 210. We had a good game, great competition today. I want to thank all the students for a great job today. At Science Academy, you're going to be moving on to the next round. I want to thank our judges here once again from UTRGV. Dr. Rivetta, thank you so much for your work today. We appreciate it. Science Academy, we'll see you in the next round. We'll see you at home next week for another exciting competition of Masterminds. 
Channel 5 News will make a generous donation to both high schools for their participation in today's competition. The money will provide extra resources in each high school library so that all students may benefit. Join us again next week for another edition of Masterminds.